So I'm back for Michael's. Uh, they didn't have that color shot one that I picked up last time. They had this Krylon Decor Selects. I'll see if I can put a link down into the product in the description. Matte black. Uh, pretty much for everything. Plastics, uh, paper, a bunch of other stuff. Can't read it. Um, all right, well, let's have that and see how, see how this one looks or hold or takes. Uh, it's paint and primer, so I'm hoping it doesn't soak up as much and gives me more coverage. I bought three cans, figuring one, two, three, and just as has a primer. We'll see. And I've masked stuff the other side of the window, and I masked off the top here. I didn't cut it because I want to reuse it over on this on this side when I go back over this thing. All right, let's do it. As with all spray painting jobs, be sure to take, take the can frequently to keep the paint flowing so it doesn't get stuck in there. Go over these areas here where I can see in the video that there was light coming through. Try to do it at an angle from above and below since it is pleated. And of course the side. I can already see just from here that these pleats really block off from the painting. But all right, that's looking better. Yeah. Ooh. Pick that up. Let me do this top edge over here so that I can reuse this nasty. Ah! You see where I'm already painting or getting the, the door up here. Hopefully it comes off with rubbing alcohol. Yeah, this one can is definitely giving me more coverage than the color shot. It's a six ounce can, I'm pretty sure the other one was also. Before this one runs out, all right, that's it for can one. Go with the other can, well, another can. Same thing, Krylon, Decor Select, Matte, Black, M-A-T-T -T Matte, no, M-A-T-E or something, whatever, inside joke. I have to get about three or four inches from the blind so that it takes, I realize when I'm spraying back here trying to get more coverage, it doesn't get on there, so... Getting closer works better. Got to be careful not to overspray and get dripping. I'm not going to worry so much about the bottom because I don't think I need to drop them that low. 
to block out the light that I'm trying to block out. I don't think I've ever dropped them all the way down anyway. The important thing is the side right around here where that sun comes through. Where the light hits it. I can see already from here that there's some patches. So this is giving me good coverage. I'll let that sit overnight. And tomorrow, when the sun shines through, I'll be able to see where touch up is needed. And even from there, sitting down, I can see looking kind of upwards a little bit. Like I said, these pleated blinds, you got to get at it from multiple angles. Top, bottom. You get the coverage you're looking for. On these sides here again, I can see that. It is nighttime right now and there's no light coming through. So I'll leave it at that for now. And we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Good morning. So it's the next day, obviously it's this morning. I'm gonna take off the masking since I've done the edges. Yeah. And then we'll see how much actual light is coming through. I can see Obviously here, you know what, maybe I'll spray that since obviously there's light coming through. So let me, let me give that a touch up. The point is to not have any light coming through. So let's, let's go at it. Wow, look at that cam. Luckily I've got my other one right here. I don't have to go all the way over there and grab it. There we do. Just a can. Of paint. Too bad these cans won't spray upside down. So I could really get into there. And one other thing I should mention is you want to have good ventilation when you're spray painting. Found out the hard way after I did this yesterday. The room was full of vapors or whatever. And I had to open up some windows and doors and let it air out. And it's cold Minnesota weather, not fun. But this is so much easier having some light in the background. That way you can see exactly where you need to, to go at it. Bleed it blind, you really gotta get in there up and down and try to go at it at all different angles to get the coverage that you need. There's little specks I can see. Maybe I'll let that dry out a little. I'm sure you can see in the video better or differently where it's shining, where it's coming through. I'll have to check it out later. Okay. Either way though, this is a lot better than it was before. You can tell, you know, obviously you didn't have the white blind where the light comes through. At least it's blocking out some of it. And it'll look a lot better than having some blankets hanging up here. Well, there are these spots that just don't want to get painted over. Just gotta keep going at it until the camera's out. Might as well. Got 
Face that we cast. Add another layer of darkness. And that's it. Wow. All right. Let that dry off. Where'd the lid go? Oh, well. Aha. Uh -huh. We'll let that dry for, I don't know, half an hour. I don't know what the indications are on here as far as how long it takes to dry, but that should be plain. And then I'll pull them up, I'll take off the masking, and do a reveal. We'll see, we'll see the difference. And we're back. Before I get started, I, you can notice I moved the camera over a little bit because that crackling sound you heard earlier is this campfire. Campfire with the Rocky Mountains on a frozen lake in the background. Kudos to this guy. I mean, shameless plug here. Better than a Yule log. No music. That way I can play my own music. I can't do that because of the copyright stuff. But I don't know if you can show a YouTube video within a YouTube video and not infringe. But winter campfire, a nice covered lake, 4K video with crackling. Beautiful relaxation is the channel. Check it out. Does the cool stuff. All right, my turn. So it's been drying now for maybe about an hour, I think. Um, let's go ahead and draw the blinds and remove the masking paper. So, as you can see, it goes up and down. Well. Bring them down in a second. Oh, look at that. The paint has a little, I don't remember it stopping there, but that's fine. Let's see what this one does. Oh, yeah, maybe it does. All right, cool. All right, take a look at this stuff. Nice, bright, sunny morning in Minnesota, West Bloomington. December 28, 2022. Again, if you have grocery bags like this that have the rope handle, This stuff, the cats love them. I don't know what it is about them, but they, see? <laughs> oh, you can't see, you can't see this. All right, so, it's a little hard to see what's going on on the left side there. Well, let's draw the blind. Blackout blind. All right, well, see, I can see where I need to go over it again. Another couple of cans, but at least we have some darkening. Oh, yeah, got stuck. Make sure you let it dry longer. You don't want that to happen. Come on. Whoa. while I paint and touch up again. That's an idea. Hey, you improvise as you go. All right. There we go. Yeah, I can put some waste down there. See, all of this stuff where it was closed. Make it up as you go. GBC Engineering. But, okay, well, work in progress. <laughs> Stay tuned. I'll get it. I'll get it. 
if I can get everything to look like this, I'll be good. See? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that I've got most of the edges, I will. I'll mask it up again anyway. Yeah, just to make sure. We gotta clean off that top thing. You can't tell in the video, but there's some overspray. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what this is all about, check out my other videos where I explain the wound vac stuff. Happens uh, when you get your foot infected and it gotta get taken care of. So check those out. Maybe I'll put a link up in the description.